Hello, welcome again to another OData Developer Tools screencast. This is Muhammad Musa, and today we are going to explore LinkPad support for OData. In order to be able to work with OData using LinkPad, you will need to download LinkPad 4.NET Framework 4. LinkPad 4 is available for download from www.linkpad.net. LinkPad 4 requires .NET Framework 4, RTM or RC, which is available for download from Microsoft website. After downloading and launching LinkPad 4, I'm going to add a connection to a simple OData service that is available for public usage online. I guess we all remember the old Northwind database. It's now exposed as an OData service available online, and this is its URL, and we are going to use it with LinkPad. I will start by adding a connection to Northwind OData service. I'll click Add Connection. I will select WCF Data Services and hit Next. Here I will specify the URI of my OData service as specified here. I have an option to remember this connection. So next time when I open this drop down list, I can find my previously used connections. I will test the connection and it's fine. We'll hit OK. And wow, too many entities available in this OData service. As you can see, we have categories entity and customers, employees. There is also products. And if you expand one of those entities, you will find it specify the properties and CLR type of each property, as well as relation. For example, in categories, there is a related end for products, and it's one to many as this icon specify. When you click on the products, you will go to the products entity, where you can find its properties and related entities. And let me give you a hint about coloring legend of navigation properties. For example, in products, you will find category property in blue. And this is many to one relationship as this icon specify. In one to many relationship as in categories, the color will be green and the icon will be this one. And this specify one to many relationship as one category is related to many products. I will start right simple link queries against Northwind or data service. We'll start with templates available from LinkPad. When you right click on any of the entities available on the left pan, you can select one of those simple uh, templates available. Let's start with this. Here I will just need to specify the where condition. Here I will specify that p dot category id equal one and will run. As you can see here, it displays the results. Let me explore the result pan a little bit. The result pan shows you the tabular data retrieved from the uh, link query through the OData service. Here you have a tab result. Right to it, there is a lambda expression of this. So it shows you how link query is transformed into this lambda expression with extension method. And when you specify SQL, of course, there is no SQL generated, but this will show you the exact URI that you can use to retrieve the same query link query that you just had. When you do something like this, it shows you this. And of course, you can open the intermediate language IL of this query. We can also do some paging on this data. Here I'll take off the condition on the where. We'll put this and specify skip 0, take 10, take first 10 records only. And we'll hit to run the query. As you can see, this will return only 10 first 10 records. And here again, I can specify skip 20, take 10. As you can see, if you open the SQL, it will show you the URI. Now I'm going to add a connection to a new data service. Uh, it's the Netflix O data service. Uh, Netflix O data service is about uh, catalog about movies, and this is the one I'm going to use. It, this is the URI. 
and here's the entities of the Netflix or data service now I'm going to create a new query and specify Netflix catalog as uh, its connection and I'll start working with Netflix data catalog as I said before Netflix is about movies so I want to write a query that will retrieve movies with Arabic language the query would be something like this here I specify the language to be Arabic and the movie the title type to be movie and I can select and I will execute this query uh, this query can be written like this it's the same query with the same result and actually it has the same URI I can also order the results by release date for example you can see now it's ordered ascending by release date one thing about linkpad is it doesn't show you all data operations available in this service for example Netflix or data service has few operations such as movies operation that returns titles of type movies you cannot view this uh, operation uh, on the left pad as you can see in here however you can view this operation using OData visualizer for Visual Studio 2010 for reference you can return to my previous screencast about open data protocol visualizer extension for Visual Studio 2010 available on odataprimer.com However, that doesn't mean you cannot use or data services operations using LinkBad. All you need to do is to use data services client APIs available on .NET Framework 4. Data services client APIs is available under system.data.services.client, which is available in assembly system.data.services.client.dll. The class that I'm going to use is data services context class. I will need to create a new query and from linkpad I will need to switch from C sharp expression to C sharp statements I will start by creating a data service context next I will invoke execute method of the data service context execute method returns I enumerable the URI that I am going to invoke is the URI of the service operation so I need to specify movies at the end one thing to note here that the result of the movies operation is a list of title entity so the, I strongly typed the execute method here to return I enumerable of title now I am going to display the response actually this is the dump method here is something related to linkpad it's an extension method uh, attached to iron numerable types so to display the results as we will see now and here we are this is the result return it from the service operation I can add filter to this query through the URI itself like here I will add filter and let me narrow the results here var q and we'll dump this as you can see it only displays 2010 movies uh, another thing if you notice that I am displaying a field called instant I will just display the available movies so I will add and here mm. so here it just display the available movies as you can see in the result one cool feature also about linkpad is that you can export your results to excel or excel with format word or word with format so I guess that was all about LinkPad and all that. I hope you enjoyed this screencast and hope to see you soon on another one.